Mask is showing a prowler stash close by. Webs will keep the will in place. Hey, Miles. Got an alert from the stash at my old place. You lived in that penthouse? Back in the early Prowler days, when I was on Fisk's payroll. Fisk? Yeah, I know. You remember when I got the keys? I wanted to impress my big bro so badly, but he was ashamed because he knew how I got it. Whatever Dad felt, I know he always loved you. Appreciate that, nephew. Maybe one day I'll believe you. Still a lot I don't know about Uncle Aaron and Dad. Wonder what other stories they had. Hey, friendly people, what's been up? I found the sweetest email in my inbox today, and I just had to share it with you. It reads, Dear Danica, I know you're reporting on high-profile stories these days, but if you have time, I'd like to forward a public thank you on your show. I'm a BVA senior who would never have gotten an A on their final cinematography project if it wasn't for Spider-Man's help. I was so grateful, I decided to name my new hamster after him. It meant a lot that he took the time to help me, given how much he's had to deal with lately. Sometimes, the smallest good things make ripples. If you read this, thanks for reading. Sincerely, Odyssey. Oh, Odyssey, I love stories like this. Small things make such a difference. So, here is my challenge for all of you. Do something small today. Give a stranger a compliment, buy a friend a copy, put a coin in the meter next to yours, anything. You never know what good it'll do. Well, that seems like enough advice for this episode. Take the most care, everyone, and take care of each other. Yeah, that'll definitely work. You know, I saw an old grandmaster playing there last week. Anyone could walk up and challenge him. And he lost to a kid who lives down the street from me. 
Damn! Never seen anything like it. I was wondering what this place was. That's Emily's tree. This is perfect. You made it. I thought you said this was a startup. Yeah, I was hoping for something a little less this. But my dad was the one who, you know, he made all the arrangements. Peter and... Parker. <laughs> so, what do you think? It's a far cry from that chop shop that Otto had you in. And now that you're on board, this place is really gonna start cooking. Uh, Dad, Pete hasn't decided he's joining yet. Oh. Really? But I was gonna give him a tour. Let him decide for himself. All right. You know, seeing you boys together again. <laughs> right then. Have fun. Get your badge out. Let's go exploring. So the first thing I want to show you is downstairs. Harry, this place, right? Dad went a little more over the top than I would have liked. How did you... you got things set up while I was still undergoing treatment, but when I got out, I made a few changes. Like what? Diverted my salary into research projects, installed a diverse board to keep us on the right track, and made sure all research aligned with our mission to heal the world. Wow. Dad's money may have gotten the ball rolling, but my job is to put it to work. Making the world a better place. First, I want you to meet Dr. Young, who's a leading entomologist. You know what entomology is? Yeah. Dr. Young is doing this super cool research on bees. Or, to be more precise, on bee predators. Wait, are you serious? That data is not cross-tabulated with the learning we did during the last milestone. Ready to talk to Dr. Young? You must be Peter. It's so nice to meet you. I think you'll like this project. Great to meet you, Dr. Young. Harry says you're working with bees. Yes, and it's quite an urgent situation. A full third of the food you eat every day comes from crops pollinated by bees. But worldwide populations are in steep decline, primarily due to a significant predator, the carnivorous bee wolf. So we developed an innovative way to help the bees. Want to see how? Whoa, this is cool. These little drones are essentially bee bodyguards that we're training to detect and attack bee wolves. AKA bee killer wasps. 
And you're helping with the machine learning algorithm. Do you see those little holographic b-wolves? The better you are at shooting them, the better our drones get at recognizing what to target. The idea is for the drones to scare the b-wolves away, not hurt them. Oh, nice! Yes! Yep! Hear that, little b-wolves? You still get to pollinate another day, too. Oh, yeah! Gotta protect the hive! This is a reminder that... Nice! Is our gotcha! Wow! You're done, Peter. A very productive session. We got great data. Okay, flying home. Welcome to Entomology. If those virtual bee wolves you just took out were real, you'd have saved the lives of about 2,500 bees. Wow. I'd love to help any way I can. I could take a look at juicing the neural network speed. Oh, yes, please. Maybe if Pete decides to join us, you two can talk some more. Thanks, Dr. Young. I've got so much more to show you, Pete. Let's go. Now, up ahead is the medical research area. We're doing cutting-edge proton beam work, using protons instead of x-rays, with better targeting and less radiation. It's all the stuff we talked about. All the stuff we dreamed could make the world a better place. That's the idea. <laughs> Harry, a moment, if you please. Uh, any chance it can wait a sec? It'll be quick. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh, Doc, this is my friend Peter. Peter, Dr. Connors. We've actually met. I used to work with Dr. Octavius. You came to the lab once to consult on electrotactile stimuli. Oh, yes. It's a shame about Dr. Octavius. His work had so much promise. Any changes since this morning? Dizziness, aches, pains, anxiety, impulsive thoughts. <laughs> nope. I've never been better. That's what worries me. Nice to see you again. Your doctor is the lizard. Dad believes in second chances. Hey, listen, I gotta go make a call, but, uh, feel free to explore. Come meet me upstairs when you're ready. So that was crazy. But it seems to be working for everyone to have Dr. Connors here. Guess I'll look around.